A high school student here in San Diego, California, could help save thousands of lives on the battlefield and in third world countries with a new way to disinfect wounds. When 17-year-old Melissa Fagan learned that people all over the world were at risk of developing infections resistant to antibiotics, she wanted to help. Her school, the San Diego Jewish Academy, happened to be the perfect place to start. Its science, technology, engineering, and math program, also known as STEM, allowed her to devote two years to research and experimentation. We spend billions of dollars treating strains like MRSA and hospitalized patients. So because of that, we've gone back to using silver as an antimicrobial agent. She learned about the advantages and disadvantages of silver. And silver works, it goes into the bacteria and it kills the bacteria cells without wounding the surrounding tissue. Um, but there's a disadvantage in that it has a really short active life. So my whole project was about increasing the active life of silver. She got to work in her school's laboratory. So I actually took silver and I encapsulate, encapsulated it into these microspheres and then used that to deliver the silver. So she put together an old technology and updated it with a new delivery mechanism and found that she was able to overcome many of the problems. Dr. Jane Willoughby is the director of the San Diego Jewish Academy STEM program. She credits this program with allowing students like Fagan to apply in real life what they learned in the classroom. There's a STEM movement in the USA. It's really at the forefront of education because we recognize that we have great traditional programs, but we're not allowing our students to step out of the traditional course curriculum and start thinking independently. Fagan's project is titled The Creation of Alginite Microparticles as a Novel Drug Delivery Vehicle. It was so successful, she was sent to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Seven million students from 40 countries compete in this competition. Fagan's project won first place in microbiology. It's a two-day affair, and it's pretty much all day you're getting different judges from um, around the country, they're all PhD um, and they're all professors, so it's really interesting and they just, they sit you and they, they hammer you on your project, make sure you know what you're talking about. She received $16,000 in scholarships and won several military awards. Now she's applying for a patent and trying to finish 12th grade. Fagan plans to continue her research in college. She also wants to travel to Africa and India and see firsthand whether her project is making a difference. I'm Lindsay Mastis for JN1 in San Diego, California.